Hey, what's up, everybody? So if you're watching this right after it published, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And 2020 is coming. Happy New Year. The holidays are awesome. You can do a lot of day drinking, daytime drinking during the holidays. I love it. So I just wanted to talk really quick today about an idea of using multiple effects and not dragging and dropping them onto each clip, but actually putting them above on a second layer. Using Avid's really cool adjustment layer, every layer is an adjustment layer feature, and then saving it and using it in the future, right? You know, in this case, what I did here, let's go to V1, you have this normal looking clip, and in, in this case, I had a black and white effect, and then on another layer, I had this animated background, and I put an animat on it, and then I used a sapphire effect called layer, which sort of blends it in, and you could see, see this little flare right here, it's sort of blending it in, right? Now, I could do that for every single clip right I, and i do see some people doing that but i want to show you a much better way just put all your effects onto v2 v3 any layer that's higher let's say i wanted to make an effect here for this clip of this person walking out i made add edits at the front and, and the back on v3 here i'm going to add a black and white effect then like i said before i'm going to cut in this animated background and then i'm going to apply the the animat which gives it a vignette look and this layer now i have this look i have it on two and three and now i'm going to collapse it i don't know if you've ever used the collapse tool maybe i should do something a separate video about that but now i'm going to collapse it and now i have this clip right here it's only four seconds but if i could copy that into the monitor now i can put this over anything i want and then i can just extend it so hopefully you see what i'm doing there i'll do one again in a second let me get rid of these other effects underneath and now everything underneath has this effect on it but i didn't have to go through and do it individually right and now here's the key too i can re-edit these things underneath very easily no renders there's no lag time because underneath there are no effects on it so i'm editing something underneath and now i know oh i have this wash above it and eventually i'll just render that whole thing right and the big thing is remember i have this sub clip up here if i drag that into my bin and then call this black and white cool look 89 something i would remember which would not be that but then i can just cut it over any clip ever and extend it and I have this over any cut underneath. I don't have to drag and drop one clip at a time. You're even, you know, you can lasso and double click, whatever. This is still a much faster way. And I hope this makes sense. Let me show you another look here. Let's see if I have one. So I, I, I this is one I made a long time ago in theory. I have this sub clip. I cut it in. I extend it. What do I have here? I have a, a vignette. And if I step into it, there's a color correction effect there is a film effect there is a glow effect so all four of these things are on this one clip even if i double click here and step into it right all these effects are together and instead of dragging one by one by one onto each clip by each clip each clip just put it on a top layer and then like i said copy it copy it into your monitor save it into your bin cut it on done Time to drink beer. Time to get ready for two New Year's. Time to get ready for 2020. I had an awesome year making these videos. I hope people got a lot out of it. I hope you become a quicker, faster editor. And I'll see you next year in the next video.